so if you are a vim user this video is for you today i'm going to show you how you can customize vim so if we switch to vim let's open up my bash rc file this is what your vim looks like out of the box right so what i will do today is let's change this one so basically what i am going to do today is i am going to install space vim so what is space vim space vim uh, space vim is a distribution for vim editors that is inspired by space emacs if you have used emacs then you may know what space emacs is so basically it's a plugin or you can say it's a theme or a distribution of vim so let's install it we'll click to quick start and since i'm using linux i will be installing this script if you are on windows you can install this uh, install it from this windows tag let's copy this to our terminal so let's paste the command and hit enter the so space vim is now installed now when i uh, start vim and hit enter here you can see this is now have changed so now it is asking me for a color scheme like if i want to use a basic mode or a dark mode so obviously i will use dark mode so you can use j n k to uh, navigate and hit enter and let's quit it out again and again go to the vmrc and it will now uh, install all the plugins that are uh, that have came with the base vim i will clone my uh, init.toml file which is required for the uh, space vim so for that git clone https and now i will hit enter now so all the plugins are now installed i will quit vim right now we will go to my uh, file manager this is thunar and i will copy this file right i will copy this file to the dot uh, space vim dot d folder and i will replace this and now when i start vim It will again install all the plugins that I have already uh, used in the past, like the Definite Emoji, the Unite Outline, and somewhere near, somewhere in this plugin, there is a uh, Neo Tree or the Side Menu. So now all the plugins are now installed. So this is how it is looking like right now. What will happen if I only start the Vim? So this is what I was talking about the Neo tree. So this is basically the file system and all the folders that are that are present in the home directory. And this is the space vim home screen right now. This was the space vim, and now your vim text editor won't be a boring term a boring GUI. That's all for today. See you.